Okay guys, it's Retro Tech here, back in the workshop, and uh, welcome back for another video. Um, now this one's a rather interesting one, it's a piece of gear I've had for a while, but um doesn't really get used that much. But nonetheless I thought I'd do a, um, a video on it, and thought you guys would find it very interesting. So what is it? It is a Sony digital audio processor PCM 501ES so this is the uh, European designated version uh, so it's compatible with PAL and CCAM so what does it do? Well, it basically converts any video recorder into a digital audio tape recorder so if we have a look at the controls we've got our headphone out and level uh, optimum video condition control uh, that's that's basically to uh, allow you to adjust the settings for um, the type of videotape you're using generally it's spot on you don't need to change it recording resolution um, 14 bit and 16 bit which I'll elaborate a bit further on um, you'd always pick 16 bit unless you're you're planning on using this tape in the previous model which is um, um, 14 bit only we have our copy button which sends a PCM output to another VTR for copying information auto playback mute so if there's any dropouts in the tape it'll automatically mute it to stop any unwanted noise and a tracking button so if I press it it allow you to adjust your tracking level um, on different VCRs so if the tape was recorded on a different VCR the tracking might be optimum and record mute so when you're recording you just hold that down and it won't record that while you're holding it down and then your record level controls and your display with your VU meters and uh, recording resolution and uh, peak levels I'm using this uh, Panasonic NVHD100 VHS VCR and it's also connected to this sorry about the light, this Sony um, little boombox here CFS6000 this is rather unique as it's um, AM stereo Unfortunately, no station in my area broadcasts an AM stereo, so I can't get the full use of that. Um, it's actually what this, this switch here is for, to switch between the four different types of AM stereo. Position B does three of the types, and position A, I think, is for the uh, Harris system. Um, I might make a video on this bit of kit a bit later on. And I've also got the video output from this VCR connected to this black and white monitor here. So you get some sort of idea of what the PCM output actually looks like. Alright, let's put this tape in that I've previously recorded. So what I have got it set up is the audio output from this is going to go into the line in on this boombox and the video out goes into the video in on the digital audio processor and then the video out on the digital audio processor goes to the video in of the VCR I'm not going to demonstrate recording on this um, I've already made a, a recording from YouTube um, library so there's no copyright infringement and I can assure you it does record perfectly fine I can't tell the difference between using standard play and long play that much really at all um, so feasibly on this E240 you could get 8 hours of digital audio and play That's what I, I get it 
head. There we go. That's what it looks like. So how does this method differ from um, standard? I mean, you can hear the quality. It's pretty good. How does this method differ from, say, hi fi stereo? conventional analog recording system. Um, digital information is either zero or one. So all, all it has to do is differentiate between two different types of pulses, hence pulse code modulation. Um, how does it do that? Well, if you think of, of digital audio, so you have Zero, one, zero, one. This is your least significant bit, and this is your most significant bit. Let's turn that down. So it works as the power of two. So the least significant bit is one to the power of two, and two to the power of two is that bit. Three to the power of two is that bit. 4 to the power of 2 is that bit, which 1, 4, 8, 16. So that's the decimal value of those bits. So this, this, represent, this binary representation here equates to 9, because you have 1 bit there and 8 there. So what you're doing here is you're recording at a resolution of 16 bits. So there's 16 binary numbers. The more numbers, the more accurate you can simulate the analog voltage. And this actually samples at 44.1 um, hertz. So that means it's snapshotting the analog signal. It's taking little snapshots of it. 16-bit snapshots, 44.1 thousand times a second.